Next on War of the Wheels, Screaming Eagles, and Screaming Teammates. Shut the hell up! Look at it! Why didn't you do it? The body work's done! I thought I heard a lot more noises coming over from their side when they were putting their engine in. The race is on to see who can build the best Talon show car. These cars are gonna look the exact same! As two groups of car buffs battle it out in the garage and on the track. Watch the show. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Two cars, two teams, and three days. Two groups of gearheads try to outgun each other in the garage, turning average autos into amazing rides. It all happens under the expert eye of champion rally car driver Andrew Comrie Picard. It's a battle to the finish line on Floor of the Wheels. This week our team sink their claws into a pair of 92 Eagle Talons. With its all-wheel drive and two-liter turbocharged engine, it was a high-performance car new and is a favorite of tuners today. It's a highly tweakable machine, but to get the best out of it, you have to know what you're doing. Our team say they're up for the challenge, but first, let's see what the judges have to say. Andrew Miller is a mechanical whiz and master fabricator with Mean Green Performance Products. These cars are ripe for improvement. This one looks pretty stock. They've uh, put an air filter on it and lowered the suspension a little bit. Seems to be a pretty good starting point. Attila Kahlo is an award-winning custom car audio and interior specialist. Well, as far as interior goes, guys, we've already got the dash lifting up over here. The vinyl started to peel away. And trunk, we've got about this much depth, so it's not a lot of room for subs. Let's see what they can do with it. Pat Ryan is a paint and body expert and manager for the Fix Auto franchise. Primer covered body. It looks like the previous owner was attempting a repaint before he sold his vehicle to us. Uh, there's a couple of issues though on the passenger door. There's some rust by the belt molding. Well, this one's a little less stock than the other one. Two fenders have been uh, repaired and have like half an inch of uh, body filler in them. And the big body cladding on that passenger door is coming adrift, just like the other car. Well, guys, looks like we got some sort of cable repairman doing some weekend warrior stuff here. This is like a coaxial cable from your phone line. Well, wish the team's luck. I think they're going to they're gonna need it. It's time to meet the teams that will face their talent challenge. Team Torque features four mechanics who've never worked together, but nearly all have talent experience, including a mechanical engineer who claims to know this car inside and out. Rob, what do you think of the potential of this car? It's a diamond in the rough. I'm sure we can pull it off. Rob Greer has years of pro auto shop experience under his belt. He's also a moderator of a leading talent internet forum, Club DSM Canada. Mechanically, I'm great. Like, I know that I can do the work. That's no problem. Team Combustion is another group of gearheads working together as a team for the first time. The team includes a champion talent show car builder and an engine tuner with a turbocharged level of confidence. Try starting it up. I'll turn the car off. This has got to be for the fuel pump. Be for That's the fuel horrible. Pump. Anthony Tafajian is a pro mechanic who tunes high performance cars. Driving for Team Combustion, Anthony has no doubts about his skills both on and off the track. Watch the show. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Okay, teams, you've seen your cars. Now for the rules. You've only got three days and 12,000 bucks to spend on your cars. Come judgment day, they have to be completely ready for the judging. Then they'll be judged out of 60 points. 20 for the body, 20 for the mechanical work, and 20 for the interior and audio. After that, we'll go to the drag strip, and whoever posts the best quarter mile time gets a 10 point bonus. Whoever loses has to hope they did well in the judging. Torque, how are you feeling? Well, I hope the other team's got their diapers on, because they're going to crap their pants when they see what we do to that car. I don't they're see all crap, 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 Minis. All right, Combustion, what do you got for that? Buddy, we're going to feed it to them like a room full of hungry orphans, man. Yeah. Blah, right blah, 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 you got to come see you at the track. Yeah, yeah thank all right, guys, the clock's ticking. Let's get to work. Both teams waste no time removing their hoods to get moving on their engines. Remove rust. Team Torque plans out their strategy. I think maybe engine, transmission, oil leak here and there, but that's pretty much normal for a Talon. Tony Vaz is an electrician and backyard mechanic who's tinkered with Talons for 15 years. That's awesome. Brakes, steering, any mechanical work I do myself. 
You're gonna end up putting components in the doors, you're gonna put components in the back. Corey Walton is a licensed mechanic and car audio enthusiast. I started when I was about 15 years old. My parents gave me an old custom fan that I ended up customizing. I've repaired many cars at the side of the road. Um, I really don't mind getting dirty. I just, I just want the car to perform its best. Jim Small is a mechanical engineering student and experienced talent drag racer. He'll be in the driver's seat for Team Tour. Hardly ever lost a race, and it's mostly thanks to the all-wheel drive. With the mechanical marathon underway, Team Combustion ignites their build. What do you think we should do for the engine? Well, we have four G63 turbo, 195 horsepower, but we'd like to get around 300. Jeremy Gore is an award-winning show car builder. His customized first-generation Talon is recognized as one of the top show cars in Canada. I like things done right, say it done half-assed. I don't want it done at all. What a pile. It's rusting out from the inside. Think you guys can work with it? What do you think, Tim? No ABS, no air conditioning, power steering's been looped for the cooler. I think it's doable. Tim Grek is a self-taught mechanic who's owned and raced several all-wheel drive talents. They're just so clean and sleek. Also, the power and the all-wheel drive is just, you're invincible no matter who you're racing at the track. You gotta love the exposed wires. <laughs> <laughs> Always good for a fire. Actually, this strut here took forever to come out, so that was not good. We had to take the chisel to it pretty bad. Nathan Andras is an automotive marketing student who works for Mercedes-Benz. When you're a car guy, it just, I don't know, it must be in your blood or something. Today we're hoping to get the engine out. We're hoping to get the suspension done. We're hoping to get the interior fully out. Interior, I think we're gonna have to pimp it out, bud. <laughs> Lay some shag carpet down, some cheetah inserts for the seats. Make it different, you know, we don't wanna be typical. Because of his pro-mechanic experience, Anthony assumes leadership. There. But already the team shows signs of strain. No. It's perfect. No. It's not perfect. What about this guy? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? There's always got to be the one guy cracking the whip. Let's go, guys. Nathan, get some rags for sitting over there. Or else everybody's not going to have any drive or any direction. Nobody lose anything or you lose your life. Across the garage, Team Torque goes to town on its ride. You know, at first I was like, well, it's, it's bone stock and it's old, and I thought we were going to get a lot of rusted bolts and whatnot, but I'm really impressed with the car. Working with his teammates for the first time, Tony's happy to discover he's not the only one who knows this car. You'll see that we're all working together pretty well. Pull it back and flap it underneath the windshield wiper blades. That's it. Just a few hours into the build, and tensions already escalating for Team Combustion. We're going to take it off on the top of the motor, right? And this last it part, period. Tim and Anthony can't agree on how to remove the starter. Buddy, we gotta unbolt the starter anyways, and we could just slide it aside. You can't. What do you mean you can't? You could just bring it out from here and put it right here. I understand. Either what you're way, saying. the starter has to Who come Who wants to out. do the starter when it's in the car? It's right there. One bolt here, we lift it up, the other Two bolt bolts. there. Two bolts. The other bolt's underneath there. That's what I just said. One bolt there, and oh, the yeah, other okay. bolt underneath. Okay, you know what? Go for it. Enjoy. The race has just begun, and with the clock ticking down, both teams prepare to pull their engines and settle in for an intense three days in the garage. Coming up... This car is going to look the exact same. Some players start to panic about their strategy. Same setup, same everything. Shut the hell up. Two teams work frantically to transform a pair of 92 talents into amazing show cars. The goal is to outdesign the other team, score big points with the judges, and win a time trial at the drag strip. It's day one of our three-day challenge. Both teams are removing their engines in order to install more powerful turbochargers and larger intercoolers. These and other mechanical improvements will increase horsepower. For a Literally no money, I can take a 200 horsepower stock Talon and make it 300 horsepower. And to be honest, I know more about making a car fast for cheap, simply because that's what I had to do when I was growing up. While Team Combustion struggles to pull their engine from above, Team Torque takes the opposite approach. Uh, we're dropping the whole thing as one big piece out the bottom, wheel suspension, everything's all coming out the bottom. You can change whatever you need to change, you don't have to 
fight with wires, fight with cables. It's all going to be quick and easier that way. Swing it that but way. not so easy for the boys in red. It's stuck right on all those cables. It's done, it's done, it's done. It also makes it so that we can lower the car back down. Somebody can be working in there while we're working on all of this, and then putting it back up is so much easier too. Let's go. It takes them a little longer, but Team Combustion finally succeeds. We have a motor out. <laughs> That's the siren for our motor being out. Tony checks the condition of the transfer case. We see no oil, we're in trouble. Uh, I think we're okay. <laughs> Torque also plans to do more detailed engine work than their challengers. Rob leads yeah, the team's mechanical effort. Rob's a great guy, he knows his stuff. We all know what we gotta do, and things will get done that way. Both teams are also deep into their interior and stereo builds and find unexpected challenges. The interior would have been much simpler if there wasn't three separate alarms wired in, plus uh, pagers and uh, stuff just wired into everything. With their engine now out on the shop floor, Team Combustion is frustrated to find it's in less than perfect shape. Wow. That's a shot. Like, everything's seized, everything, like, even the center nuts there for the uh, CV shaft, they're, like, almost welded in there, man. It's pretty bad, pretty bad. But the team faces a bigger struggle. Working together. Stubborn, stubborn group, and it's really hard because I have the feeling I may be wrong, but if I'm not doing it, it's not getting done. You can't take that fender off. Let me go ahead. Do a tweedle and tweedle down the with only 12 grand to spend on their cars, these teams are looking for any advantage that they can get. So right now it's time for us to give them another chance to step outside and play for a part. All right, I'm going to create some very simple problems with this car. First, I'm going to disconnect the lead to the starter, which will prevent it from turning over. Take out the fuse for the fuel injection so the fuel injectors won't fire. And I'm going to take the lead off the cam angle sensor so it doesn't know where the engine is. Let's see if they can figure it out. Okay, Team Torque, this parts challenge is called Start Me Up. Now, I've already sabotaged this car in some way or ways that means that it won't start. Your job is to figure it out. As soon as you do, I'll stop the stopwatch. If your time is faster than the other team, you'll win this aluminum flywheel. The flywheel allows the engine to rev easier and frees up more horsepower. Nice. What do you think of your chances? 30 seconds, and it should be ready. All right, Team Torque, on your marks, get set, go. Okay, they've got the cam sensor wire on. So they figured out that it won't turn over. That's a minute. Let's go, boys. Try it. They try to boost the car. Try it again? Okay. Uh, but no dice. Two minutes. This is taking them a lot longer than they thought it would. Okay, they've got the fuse in for the fuel injection. How are we supposed to bolt that back on? We don't have the bolt for that. Does it go to this? That's three minutes. Hold on there. That's four minutes, guys. Finally, they get the starter lead. Go for it. 424. You guys had that hidden pretty good. <laughs> How do you feel about your performance? <laughs> well, it wasn't 30 seconds, but it'll do. It's Team Combustion's turn to troubleshoot. Since they weren't allowed to watch Team Torque's attempt, there's no advantage. Sure. Okay, Team Combustion, the time to beat is four minutes and 24 seconds. You guys ready? Sure. Yeah. Go. This team is cool and collected. Okay, that's 30 seconds. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. They've got the cam sensor. That's a minute. Go. <laughs> Go. There's, something, there's a fuse or something. Well, hold on, hold on, Tiger. Hold on, hold on. Go. Anthony's got the starter wire. I don't like that fuse. I don't like that relay. It's driving me nuts. One minute and 40 seconds. Oh, three minutes. <laughs> 
Team Combustion wins the aluminum flywheel. Yeah, flywheel. I, I am a legend. <laughs> Any uh, feelings on your crushing victory by uh, uh, almost three, three minutes? minutes. <laughs> They're ninnies, by the way. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, let's get back to work. Disgust me, disgust! <laughs> Back in the garage, the teams are right back into their cars. Good job on that one, bud. Yeah, put it up there. Who did? I'm just taking off all the primer that uh, somebody sprayed all over the car. This is about hour three into this. Both teams have gone with hair raising interiors. We're going with Bunford, but just in, you know, small areas, and then we ran a bit of suede. We're gonna wrap everything in cheetah, give it that pimp effect, you know what I mean? At first, I didn't like the cheetah idea, but it's growing on me big time. Brown fun fur, like at least when it's black, it's clean, I only put it in nice, clean areas. Both teams have also installed massive front mount intercoolers. These cars are gonna look the exact same. Uh, the cars are starting to look very much alike. Same setup, same everything. Yeah, they're, they're keep, they keep copying us. Not everything. It's not like we're in the same meeting as you. How do I know you're gonna do fun for? Ask them what turbo they wanted. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the same. Not the one we wanted. And guess which one they got? The one we decided on. They're my ideas, they <laughs> stole them, and now they're accusing me of taking them. I'm surprised they haven't traded in all their audio so they could change it to the uh, same audio I did. Actually, they are changing their audio today. With both teams choosing similar mechanical and interior improvements, the judging will come down to workmanship and speed instead of originality. <laughs> How many different things can you possibly do to this car, you know what I mean? Uh, as an idiot, man, what are you gonna do, right? Shut the hell up! Hey guys, you wanna check it out? The deck's in. So far, everyone's impressed with Corey's interior makeover. But right now, Corey's more concerned with keeping the rest of his audio build a secret. I have certain things I brought in that I don't want them to see because otherwise they may show up with the problem. You know, the same things and I don't want I don't want any problems with it. With both teams getting a glimpse of each other's designs and both feeling the pressure to win, the trash talk only gets worse. Kind of build a curry Nothing. Yeah, they, <laughs> a bunch of they don't have a bear skin. There's dog. a bunch of nerds and a bunch of yeah, they're nerds for Jim, sure. Jim's a hack job too. So. <laughs> but while Team Combustion <laughs> slags their rivals, at least one member of the team saves his harshest words for his own crew. There's a lot of wandering off going on. No uh, concept of time. These guys think it's La La Land. I don't know. Get over here. We're well into day one, and both teams are a long way into their builds. Combustion's torn down their car, they got the front mount intercooler on, the new fenders, they took the head off the engine, and the engine's sitting on the floor. But their interior is a little behind, they still got a long way to go. Team Torque is doing pretty well, they got the subframe out of the car, you can see it sitting out here. They've got uh, the interior and stereo further along. So far, it looks like this race is a dead heat. Still ahead. The body work's done. The pressure builds on Team Combustion. Just want you to work on one thing and get it done. And some of the players are ready to explode. It's day two and we're looking at Team Combustion's motor. Now I built a lot of these Mitsubishi engines and this team's doing okay. They put on good head studs, cleaned up the deck, but they haven't deleted the balance shaft, which I would have done. That's gonna cost them five or seven horsepower. They're making progress, but Combustion will have to catch fire to get it all done. Now we're over on Team Torque side. These guys have taken out the balance shaft. They haven't taken off the head, but they're swapping out the cams, and they've got this awesome intake manifold that's been ported. That's gonna give them a bunch of power. Basically, this is gonna be a more powerful engine, and they're further along in the build. Today's the day to get a lot done. We gotta get the motor back in here, and uh, hopefully Tony's got the bodywork under control, and uh, we're gonna be good to go. Tension continues to flare up on Team Combustion, with Anthony and Jeremy often butting heads. Now there's conflicts with what's going on with the engine. I say don't bother machining the head, they say bother machining the head. 
the flywheels knew that we won the challenge yesterday, we were not the machine in, but they want to get a machine. Big time communication problem. You said I'll grind it. No, I not, said guys? go grind it. He's really loud and obnoxious. <laughs> I learned that from the second I got here. Because this isn't a matter of pride. This is a matter of winning as a team. Though they may not be getting along, there's some good news for Team Combustion. They discover there's money left over in their budget, so they agree to buy a nitrous oxide system for a big shot of extra horsepower. We'll have more horsepower for sure on with the, with the nitrous, but uh, it's kind of hard when you take an old motor and shove a lot of nitrous in it. It might break right away. We hope it won't, but going for the big bang. On the other side of the garage, a different story. Team Torque has already spent too much to afford a bottle of nitrous, and now that big boost to their competitors is a big concern. So you guys have figured out that the other team uh, got nitrous into their budget, and uh, I know you wanted to do it too, but I got your budget here and you're blown. You don't have any more money. Oops. Both teams' cars are similar, so the competition could all come down to racing performance. Team Combustion's nitrous oxide could be the deciding factor. We have an advantage now. We have a nice advantage. You still have a killer motor. They can have nitrous, they can have whatever they want. I think we're gonna win this race. They have a lot of parts that we don't have, and that makes a big difference. Race-wise, it's gonna be pretty tight. We're gonna give our teams one more chance to win a part that won't come out of their tight budgets. Each team's agreed to bring one hot car in a side challenge we call the Show and Shine Showdown. Okay, teams, welcome to the challenge. Team Torque, what did you bring? Brought an 84 Rabbit GTI with a two liter twin cam, Coney adjustable shocks. It's all done in gunmetal. Very nice. Right. Corey has worked on this mint 84 VW Rabbit GTI for a friend. It's built for power and clean looks. All right, Combustion, what do you have for that? I brought my 400 plus 1990 Eagle Talon all wheel drive show car. Built fully, front to back. That's right. That's hot. This is Jeremy's own 1990 talent show car. He's put in thousands of hours and spent six years on the show circuit winning numerous awards. Okay teams, the winner of the challenge will win this Turbo XS data logger and fuel controller, which gives more precise control over fuel injection and improves performance. Gosh, All right. give it, give it. Let's see what the judges have to say. We've got this Eagle Talon we're going to look at first. We've got a aftermarket front bumper, side skirts and rear bumper package. A great bi-level wing, but the most unique feature of this car are the doors. Check this out. You know what, as well as the exterior, we look like we got the interior all tricked out. We've got custom matched interior, the silver and black, the dash has been painted. Tons of electronic gadgets, looks pretty hot. Nice, they've got a custom fiberglass box, two 12 inch subs, amplifier mounted right in the center. Overall, nice clean look. All right, let's check out the engine. Let's see what they got. It's all chromed out. Looks like we've got the, uh, the intake done, the head done. To top it off, they've got a bigger turbo and a blow off valve. I think this thing makes some serious horsepower. Overall, I don't think there's much more we could add to this thing. Should we check out the other one? Let's see what they got there. All right. Yeah. Well, what we've got here is an early 80s Rabbit. The interior has been modified. It's been uh, basically stripped down for lightweight. Just basically a roll bar, basic stereo system with all the gauges to boot. All we've got here are fender flares and a little bit of a body kit, a no rear bumper, a nice subtle titanium silver paint job. This thing is very stealthy. It's that clean Euro look. Absolutely. I like it. Let's check out the hood, see what they've got. Well, the subtlety stops right here. They've got a turbocharger mounted in the, uh, the back. We've got a handmade aluminum intake manifold. This thing's ready to roll. This thing's actually a nice little race car. Race sporty look versus the uh, sleeper track look. Yeah. I like it. Let's tally up. Let's see what they got. Okay teams, the judges have looked over your cars and it was a close decision, but they've gone for the Talon and Team Combustion. Yeah. got the top first generation show car in the country. Like, not everybody can say that. Don't bother anymore, go home. All right guys, let's get back to the garage. Uh. For Team Combustion, the celebration doesn't last long. An axle they need to remove has completely seized to the hub. What are you guys doing? What? Well, hammering it out like this, what's? Well, I didn't hammer it out, I'm interesting. I walked away for a second and started hammering it. I told him it was gonna break. 
I said, no, it broke. Gee, what a surprise. The axle was stuck on there. I'm a backyard mechanic. I would have done the exact same thing. When they took the engine out, they broke the axle on the other side. They didn't break this side. This side could be seized in like the other side, but fortunately, they're not trying to take it out. This one, they'll be able to slip right back in the engine, but uh, the other side, they're doing what they can. With the car going into paint tomorrow, the red team continues to be slowed down by disagreements. I think we should look into some new bearings. Yeah, who's going to sit there and press? We'll take Where's them the, off and the let's press? see how it's melted magical they are. Press? I don't see any magical press. Few sparks flying between teammates. Team Torque forges ahead. There. Everything's working out great. I'm really impressed. Like, we're kind of just boring but efficient, I'd have to say. Like, there's, there's no conflict, there's no problems. I try to help out as much as possible. Like, I don't want to step on anybody's toes, you know, like if someone's doing a motor, let them do the motor. But the same can't be said for combustion as the team starts to crumble. He's able to scuff it down. Why the body do work's do done. It? Why didn't you do it? The body work's done. Why did he not scuff it up? Especially this guy. What the f is he gonna do? Play with my f while I'm f doing the f motor then? You got him. Somebody's gotta scuff it up. Car. Scott's riding a whole car. How smart is that? There's a sander right there, and you got him scotch riding a car. How smart is that? Very smart. It's not. Smart. You been to a body shop lately? I know I'm right. I don't have to prove it. I just want to get it done. No offense. You're moving a little slowly. What the f am I supposed to do, bud? It's not like I'm slave laboring. Am I f***ing cracking the whip? How many things did I do that I I'm fit? I'm not octopus for I can't do everything at the Right, do time. one thing. Do one thing. And I do it and I finish it, like the body work. Just left scuffing. He's got to do something, he'll scuff it. Day two is coming to a close and both teams are racing to finish. Team Torque's doing really well in the interior. They're almost done. The paint prep's almost done. They're a little behind on the mechanical, but they're doing okay. Team Combustion is a little behind on their paint prep, okay in the engine department and really good in the interior. But I think they're gonna have a hard time getting ready for the paint shop. With only one day left, both teams remain confident they'll get the job done. We're gonna have time left over, I think, at the end of the build. We just need to get that motor in and get it running by tonight. I gotta get everybody in check. Everybody's got to swallow their pride and do as they're told. Let's get it done. Oh, yes, boss. I will. Chop, chop. Right on. Yeah, you're the team leader, and this is what happens. Coming up, creative differences collide, and a battle threatens to shut down one team's build. You say you'll There's shut your mouth and just watch. Watch. It's day three of the competition, and both teams scramble to get their cars ready for the paint shop. If I don't have any arguments, I guarantee you one million and one percent that I will be ready for paint. There's a final push to complete their bodywork before rolling out of the garage. The joys of sanding. Despite all the infighting, Anthony feels his team has a strong chance to win. Obviously, we're 10 light years ahead of them. Team Combustion worked late into the night and successfully installed their engine. I wasn't expecting us to go this fast, but last night everybody was feeling the crunch and started moving. Go rev it. Go rev it. Do you remember the gauge is broken? With their engine running, Team Combustion is ready to drive their talent onto the trailer for the ride to the paint shop. I want to drive it and see the look on their face when it actually moves. But Team Torque opts to move without the engine to prevent the new intercooler from being damaged. And what do you know? Team Combustion dings their intercooler while loading onto the transport trailer. We destroyed the intercooler. It's a bit too dense in the intercooler, like this thick. You mean because it was going downhill? Team Combustion may have their engine started, but they still need time to finish prepping before paint.
Team Torque is ready to go and have agreed on a simple design with a single color, red. That's the one of a kind, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. This is looking good. We've come up with a color that's going to keep us from having to paint the door gems in Engine Bay. Save us a bit of work, but still make the car pretty nice. But Team Combustion is seeing red over its paint color. I don't want to say it in front of the team, but my paint color is not my idea. <laughs> so I don't want anybody thinking that I have anything to do with that horrible taste. This is man enough to admit it. Jeremy is determined it should be a bold two-tone green and blue. But Anthony can't stomach that color scheme. You want to just pick another color no. altogether? No. I'm not budging. You can sit there in your little corner and talk all day, and I'm not budging. That car is not going to look good with those two colors. They're going to clash together. That's what they're supposed to do. They're going with one they're color. We go with one color. We might as well just you don't paint understand what the exact saying. same. A different color with the green. So you like want to use silver? It's just a lot of me, 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 me going on here. There's no team. Blue and green colors. It just doesn't make sense. It's, it's hideous and it's ugly. But you know what? I would rather have that and shame the car with those ugly colors than listen to them bitch and complain. While Team Combustion wastes time fighting over the paint, Team Torque is back in the garage installing their engine and making good use of their final hours of the build. I thought I heard a lot more noises coming over from their side when they were putting their engine in. It seemed to yeah, be... Yeah, they seemed to be yellow screaming <laughs> and white. Back at the paint shop, Jeremy's wild paint job isn't exactly growing on his team. The blue is going to set it off. Just watch. It just would, watch. yeah, but just we say, need one more. Just say you'll shut your mouth and just watch. Just watch. See, you got to say things like shut your mouth. Those are trigger words. Okay, you can't quiet, it. quiet. No, no. Shush. Sip it. No, shush. no, I can't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Still to come, the countdown to the final deadline. Everybody's just got to put their pride aside and realize that it's a time issue here. There's three hours left in the builds, and as anybody who's built a race car or show car knows, this is when the pressure's on and the hammer's down. Team Combustion's doing pretty well. They're just sorting out their details. Their paint scheme's been a little controversial, but they're going to get done. Team Torque is doing okay, but they haven't started the engine yet. They're under a little bit of pressure. I think they're going to get it done, but it's not going to be easy. I know that the other team is concentrating a little more on the power, so when we get to the track, we might have to, uh, you know, pull a few things out of our sleeves. The interior motor and stuff is good. I don't know about the doink the clown paint job. Uh, we're thinking about maybe getting a loudspeaker and playing ice cream truck music <laughs> while we're going down the track. <laughs> One hour left, all right? Gonna get done, Tony? It's gonna be close. Very close. Get it done, get to work. Gonna be all right? We're gonna be fine. Just got some last minute wiring to do and put in the last seat and done. We would have actually been done a long time ago if we didn't spend all that time arguing. Everybody's just gotta put their pride aside and realize that it's a time issue here. Okay, Combustion, 10 minutes, all right? Clean her up, get her out. You gonna be done? It's gonna be close. <laughs> okay, teams, five minutes. Finish it up, one minute. Hey guys, you got like a minute left. Have you decided where you're gonna put the sticker? Yeah. It's gonna be close. 30 seconds to go. Okay, teams, 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, teams, you've done nothing but eat, sleep, and breathe talons for the last three days. Now it's time to lay your rides on the line for the judges. Team Torque, how'd it go? 
Well, it was a lot of hard work, but uh, I think it really paid off. I'm really happy with what we've done. Yeah, it was awesome. All right, guys, combustion, how about you? Lots of parts, lots of time spent, a lot of disagreements, but uh, in the end, it got done, and I think it's all right. All right, guys, let's bring out your rides. All right, Team Torque, what did you do to your car? We got large intercooler on the front, big turbo, new cams, custom chip in the, in the ECU, and full three-inch exhaust. All right, combustion, what did you guys do? Big intercooler, big turbo, nitrous system, pimped out interior with the cheetah inserts and the seats and the doors. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what the judges have to say. And we're gonna start with Team Torque's car. They got a nice burgundy pearl uh, laid down, and boy, I'm telling you, this thing is smooth. They got a giant Eagle decal. They got some hood pins. They got an excellent front bumper. They've got six boat rims. Looks better than the primer it started in, doesn't it? Absolutely. Do you wanna check out the engine? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Looks a lot better than it did. They've added a, a new exhaust manifold, an Evo extrude hone intake manifold, MAF air sensor from a GM. Big, big intake, three inch exhaust, big turbo, probably gonna be turning somewhere in the vicinity of 400 horse. So, should move down the track pretty good. Hey, look at that. It looks like this team actually has a fuse block. Looks like this car won't be burning down. It looks nice and clean. Let's check out the interior. Cool. Nice, clean, sleek, race ready interior. Nice screen install. Overall, looks pretty good. Yeah, I, there's, the only thing I don't like about this car is this gorilla hair. It's gotta go. Let's check out the hatch. Not too impressed. Just the basic box, amplifier mounted on the back, wires look hanging everywhere. Definitely think they could have taken more time on this back end. They did do one good thing though. They put in a disconnect for the uh, power so they can actually remove the box for race day if they want. So that's kind of a nice feature. Looks like this one's more of a go than a show. Perhaps, yeah. Well, here we are in car two, Team Combustion. And they've got a two-tone uh, paint scheme here with the blue and the green. And to be honest, it does nothing for me. They do, however, have a nice uh, front bumper treatment. They've got the five-spoke rims. If it wasn't for the paint, this car would rock. It's a little too Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Maybe they did something better under the hood. Let's check it out. Well, it's remarkably similar to uh, Team Torx. Um, they've gone with a big turbo, big front mount intercooler, larger uh, mass airflow sensor. This one's got a little bit better chance of holding together, especially since they've added nitrous. They've got an extra 100 shot that'll, uh, may put them ahead in the drag race, that's for sure. Well guys, it looks like they should have changed up the battery. This one looks like it's ready to go. Would have been nice too if they had a uh, casing on this circuit breaker. That doesn't look too uh, safe. There's not too much flash under here, but from, from the looks of it, I think it's gonna be pretty powerful. It's not pretty, but it's probably gonna go like stink. I think so. Let's check out the interior. Whoa, this thing went from mild to wild. What we've got here is some sort of psychedelic uh, leopard skin interior mixed in with the screen, PlayStation, skull shifter. Wow, I like it. It's a bit too Sasquatch chic for me, I'm afraid. Yeah, I can't stand this leopard skin or that chain link steering wheel. This car does nothing for me. I, I totally hate it. Cheech and Chong would be proud. Wow, that's pretty cool. We've got the leopard skin interior going with the box here. We've got a custom trim panel going around it triangular subs. I say we take this interior, drop it in the red car, paint a leopard across the back side of it, and we've got a nice ride. This is your last show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tally up the scores and see what we got. Let's see who wins. All right. Okay, teams, the judges have looked at your cars and given me their scores, but we're not going to tell you yet. We're going to go to the drag strip. Whoever wins there gets 10 bonus points. Cool. Got it. Front end because you won't see it again. All right, guys, let's go to the track. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Next, we settle the score at the track and find out who wins the War of the Wheels. The quarter mile at Toronto Motorsports Park. 
This is where the rubber literally hits the road. After three days in the garage, our two teams are ready to see what their rebuilt talons are really made of. The winner of this race will take home 10 bonus points, and that could be the difference between winning and losing. With two members of Team Combustion unable to make it to race day, Anthony and Tim are left to try to bring home the victory. Who put this car together and bolted in the bolts? What bolts? Look at this. I have confidence in them, but uh, I don't have confidence in the car at all. Because we haven't really We're had any time to no do anything. Zero either. tuning. Like, this is bolt? You can't just bolt on a turbo and expect it to go fast. We've done a lot of work to the engine, too. So it's going to be a 50-50 shot. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. Your car sounds really good, really healthy. I don't know. Our nitrous isn't working for some odd reason. Somebody's obviously tampered with it. That was our bread and butter, you know, against them. So uh, we don't got this. We got F all, you know? This is Rob. We did a little secret weapon here. Rob made this up, custom made, right into the headlight area. So when it goes down the track, all the air is going to be blown directly into the turbo. With Jim in the driver's seat, Team Torque will take a test run before their race for glory. How you feeling, Jim? Uh, just make sure I hit all the gears, test it out in the first run, and uh, see what I can do. What kind of time do you think you'll post? Going for mid 12s would be nice. <laughs> Good luck, man. Yeah. Thirteen, three, and 108. A little slow. The fronts were spinning pretty hard. How do you feel about that? Well, I think there's sure is lots of improvement for the first run. That's yeah, what happened? Yeah, really good. Uh, I was bogging pretty hard, about six grand. Engine light was coming on, and it was finally starting to boost again. Yeah? So we got some issues with it. But we'll see what the logger says and uh, try to work those problems out. Try another one. See you in the 13th. Oh, I wish he'd just shut up and you don't get behind the wheel, but apparently he's not good enough to represent his team. Anthony, how do you feel about uh, this 1328? With us, if we got 1328, we still got the nitrous. You know what I mean? To maybe spice things up a little. <clears throat> Hungry to make Anthony eat his words, Jim's ready to race the clock, and this time it counts. All right, guys. Your boy ready to race? Oh, he's yeah. He's ready. Bounce up with the car. Sound came Green off. Green go! Oh. 82 mile an hour! 15, 2, 3! <laughs> you know, something obviously went wrong with the car. Some hose came off or something came off. It was a good smoke show, though. Team Combustion gets set for their first practice run. We will not be dragged back. Famous last words. Hold Let's on a racing. second. Unless I smash into a wall on purpose, dedicated to Jeremy, that's it. <laughs> Pretty much, if I do take it easy, I'll, we'll guarantee to beat him, like a 15. It's pretty ridiculous. How easy is it to beat that 15? Pretty damn easy. All right, Tim, how do you feel about being the only uh, guy supporting this team right now? You know, Brick and um, Jeremy, they just couldn't come out today. Not team players. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> Jeremy's in the military now, isn't he? Uh, he's not a team player. <laughs> <laughs> Let's race. Delivery problems, Look man. how much! Oh my lord! I think our blown-up run's going to beat that run. After the first trip down the track, something's not right under the hood. All Anthony can do is return to see if there's a quick fix. Oh, where's that from? Is this a Jeremy hack or what? Yeah. 
Tim finds that a coolant hose is blown apart. This was like this. This was in here like this and clamped. Clamped down. No way. This is ridiculous. Can we just get it, like, pull it off the other car? Because it's obviously not running. And this. No, we can't pull it off the other car. Oh, uh, totally. That's totally unfair. Shut up. Hey, you guys, you gonna let them take this part off your car? This could mean that they beat you. Well, I don't think. What did you say, Tony? I don't think we. I don't. Should. I think we should have them. Let it have it. Reluctantly, Team right, Torque decides to donate a part to combustion. TikTok. We're giving them a two-dollar part because they're screwed up. Look, look at, their, look look at, at that. that. Look at that jury rig. Who that? does that? Come on. And Anthony gets his shot down the track. It's the winning time, but for Tim, it's nothing to cheer about. They didn't even break 100 mile an hour. 99.39. 14.53, so he beats you guys by half a second, both slow runs, but... Uh, Awful. All I gotta say, with, without our help, he wouldn't have won. Yeah, he wouldn't have done anything. Canada They'd still be sitting there. Close. Can I drive it faster? No. Probably not. Why? We're the third run. Nope. Shake hands. But this is the third run. I thought there was a... Shake th hands, guys. It's done. Hey, Anthony, what happened there? Wouldn't shift, man. Wouldn't shift? Wouldn't shift. Did you hit the nitrous? Mm, yeah. But to no avail. You won. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Didn't <laughs> shift. <laughs> <laughs> Took me 10 years to get in the sun. <laughs> but you won. Yeah. Not exactly impressive. Okay, teams, we all know what happened at the drag strip. Team Combustion, congratulations. Yes. But we all know that that's only part of the competition. Your cars have already been judged out of 60 points back at the garage. Now, in mechanical work, the judges gave you, Team Torque, 18 points out of 20. Uh, good job, good job. Team Combustion, they gave you 15. On interior work and audio, the judges awarded Team Combustion 17 points, and Team Torque only got 10. All right. yeah. But on body work and exterior, Torque, you got 16 points out of 20, and Combustion, you got 12. Yeah. <laughs> In your face. Yeah. You do the math, that's 44 points for each car. We've got a tie, add in the drag race, and Team Combustion, congratulations, you've won the War of the Wheels. Yeah. Hey! Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>